feel so far away from you guys today. What did I do differently? I'm trying to figure out. Anyway, hi, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica, if you are new here. I figure with this kind of video, I feel like most people aren't new to my channel if you're clicking on it, but maybe you are. And if you are, hi, thanks for clicking on this. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. Today, we're gonna share about some things I've been loving lately and a couple things I really have not been. So that's all the intro I've got for you. Let's dive in. Uh, by the way, what's on my lips is the, I think this is a new, line of lipsticks it's from rose ink and it's the satin lip color in intuitive and it's such a pretty like kind of purpley pink that's a little bit deeper but not too deep but i don't have a lip liner here that like matches it so i didn't lip line and i feel like i need a lip line you know what i mean anyway but i do like it's like a really comfy moisturizing lipstick so let's do a couple of makeup items and then i've got all kinds of stuff to talk about. A bunch of, this time around, I feel like I have a, quite a few Amazon finds that I'm really enjoying, like a new shirt, some earrings and stuff. So we'll get to that. But let's start with something I've been loving, honestly, for months. And I don't think I've yet mentioned it in a favorites video. It is from Tower 28. It's their Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. This I treat as like a BB cream slash foundation, not as a sunscreen. So I still put on a sunscreen underneath. Then I put this on as my base and it is so pretty. I'll show you me applying it right here. I feel like it covers what I want to cover for most days but it still makes my skin look healthy. It kind of does it all for me and that's why I've really been enjoying it. I actually have two now. I have one here and one at home. That way I can use it in both places because I use it that often. It's just so good. So I have the shade 15 Melrose, which is honestly like a perfect shade match for me, but it says it's safe for sensitive skin, vegan and cruelty free, won't cause breakouts, reef safe, mineral sunscreen, alcohol free. So I just, I really have been enjoying it. I feel like it wears nicely too as it, I don't think it necessarily wears off throughout the day, but in the natural zones where it would wear off, like your nose, things you touch, like I touch my chin, like an old wise man. <laughs> I feel like those are the areas for anything that always wear off. And it, I feel like it doesn't wear off weirdly. Like it kind of naturally just like melds into your skin. I, I don't know. I just really, really like it. And I like the way it looks on my skin. So this has been a big, big favorite. And it's one of the products that I didn't think I would really like. And I kind of tried not begrudgingly, but a little bit begrudgingly. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so freaking good. So another foundation-y favorite is the Kosas Revealer Foundation. This stuff makes my skin look like what I want it to look like every day. It has more coverage than the Tower 28 for sure, but it's just really, really pretty on the skin. It's not overly dewy, it's not overly dry. It's that perfect right in the middle. I think it's got like medium coverage. It's just one of those foundations that's just all around good. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a lot of foundations I like, but I'm always like, I like this, but I wish it, blah, 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 blah. This, I have no, no buts about it. It's just freaking beautiful. I think I put this on in a recent video, I will link Actually, I might've put it on too. So I'll link a video so you can see this being applied so you can actually see what it looks like. I love it because obviously today I'm wearing the Tower 28. All right, if you wanna see this one being applied, <laughs> this looks so bad on the skin. So bad, you guys. <laughs> like, oh, it takes your breath away, it's so bad. This is the Maybelline Green Edition Tinted Oil. I'm more mad that I've spent the money that I've spent on this because I bought one, it was the way wrong shade. So then I bought this one and it's the shade 10, the lightest shade. First off, the lightest shade is still kind of dark. So just keep that in mind. If you are fairer than me, there will not be a shade for you. Not that it matters because I don't recommend you get it. And again, I'll link the video so you can see this on my skin. It looked so like one of the worst foundation-y products I've tried in a very long time. It looked crazy everywhere. And the more I would put on makeup to try and fix it, the worse it looked. Like it just was like jagged. It would catch on the weird spots on your face, even spots that really don't have weird texture. It made it look textured like, ooh, this one was bad, you guys. And it's funny because at the beginning of the video where I tried it, I was like, oh, I think I like it. Like it looks not bad. And as the video progresses, you see me like realize like, no, this stuff is awful. We have Felicity here and she's sleeping in my closet. That sounds really like mean, but it's dark in there and it's like a bigger closet. So we have like a little portable bassinet thing and she's taking her nap in there and she is so happy. Like I open the door and she's just so happily asleep. It just sounds so weird to be like, she's sleeping in a closet, but she is. Anyway, um, I'm hoping me being loud is not waking her up though. I'm gonna go check on her. 
Yep, she is totally, totally asleep. That's awesome. So another favorite is the new Benefit Box Blush. This one in Peach and is definitely my favorite. It's what I'm wearing today. Again, I'll show you me applying this one too. It's just a pretty classic peach. I feel like for the summer into fall, it's just such a nice, isn't it crazy that like summer is gonna be over soon? I know like technically it's not, but it's right around the corner. People already have Halloween stuff out. Listen, I love fall. It's a little too soon. Like I'm, like most of you, we all love fall. But like July, too soon, <laughs> just way too soon. Anyway, I feel like August though, like mid-August, I'd be like, okay, like I'll, I'll dip my toes in the fall water. <laughs> anyway, this is just one of those beautiful shades. I like that, the I have two of them. I have this one in the shade Shelly. The shade Shelly is now like in pieces. It shattered, I'm like, dang it. But I do wanna try maybe one more shade of this, but this one is just so pretty if you're near my skin tone. But generally, I think this is a good line to look at if you wanna try them because they have so many different shades. I love that each one has its own cute little design. I love their box blushes. I always did, I still do. And so I'm excited that they've revamped and stuff like that. Although my favorite one, do I have it here? Is the shade Dallas and I'm assuming I haven't even looked it up. I'm assuming the old box blushes that they did still have are no longer. Yeah, it looks like you can only get it from like random sites, you know what I mean? Although it looks like there's a mini on QVC. Anyway, that was my favorite, so I'm assuming those blushes are now gone now that they've rebirthed them. <laughs> I don't like that wording. <laughs> anyway, it's so pretty. Let me know if you have a shade recommendation for me if you've tried some of them or swatched them and you think there's one, because I want to get more of like a pink toned one, two. Anyway, but I'm a big fan. The smell, I thought it would smell like peaches. It doesn't. It does smell slightly perfumed. Like they always had a different scent for each. And I like the smell. And again, I like that it's not super overwhelming at all. Like you don't smell it when you're putting it on. At least I don't. You really only smell it if you smell it, you know? <laughs> I'm just surprised that this doesn't smell like peaches. Like missed opportunity, you know? Side note, <laughs> I repurchased the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Have I told you guys that? And it's one I had years ago and I loved it, but I got rid of it because it was kind of getting old and I didn't use it. Cause you know, you're trying, like I'm trying tons of palettes all the time. Well, I regretted it. And so I uh, repurchased it and I've used it a bit lately and I freaking love it. It's just as good as I remembered. And the smell is so awesome if you like the smell of peaches. Speaking of eyeshadow, this is not technically a favorite, but it is what I'm wearing in case you're curious. It's just one color in the Wet n Wild Always Blushin palette. It is the shade here. I love that. I would buy that in a single shot. I mean, I don't need it, but I would buy that in a single because I just feel like, especially if you have like hazel eyes, oh, this liner, I'm gonna talk about the one I'm using. It just sucks. <laughs> anyway, if you have like hazel eyes, I feel like this color like mauve is really flattering. So big fan of it. There was a lot of fallout though, just to be aware. But one of my favorites here, is a single shadow and it's it's overpriced I think for what it is but it is so good you guys so I want to mention it in case you're like in the market for one single shadow that's going to be like your perfect everyday shadow that you would want to spend this kind of money on I don't know if that makes sense so this is the Chantecai mermaid eye matte in Sylvie I tried this back when I did the Hilary Duff tutorial and she uses this exact shade and she has like kind of more greenish eyes and of course it made them pop it looks so beautiful so I've had this for a while and I recently dug it out after I decluttered a bunch of my single eyeshadows and stuff because now I only have a few which is awesome I don't know why I didn't wear it today I was wearing pink so I kind of wanted to go the purple route but this is the prettiest, like smoothest eyeshadow. Like I can't explain it other than that. It's so smooth. And so I'll just put it all over the lid and then blend it into the crease. And it looks like I worked way harder than I did. And there's something about this formula. It's a powder shadow, but it kind of just is creamy. That's a weird way to describe it, but it's kind of creamy. And so I just really like it. Thinking of like this shade, like I would consider buying a single shadow if they had one that looked like this. I have to assume they do. So they have mermaid eye mattes, but they also have metallic ones. Oh no. <laughs> I have a gift card. So I'm like thinking about like, maybe. <laughs> so I don't know, I'll have to look into it, but I really, really like this one in Sylvie because it's got this beautiful 
kind of low key camel ish color. And I just, I really, really like it. And I love the formula. I almost didn't mention it because of the price, but it really is so good, you guys. Uh, another fail. This liner, I got it as like a point perk from Sephora. So I'm glad I didn't like spend actual money, but I'm still kind of bummed I used points on it. It is the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Pencil. Now I'm gonna say this with a big old caveat. This is a very creamy eyeliner that if you're just lining your eye with it, it, it works really well. It's super creamy, it applies really well, it's super black. But if you're wanting it on your waterline, you don't want it to transfer, this transferred like crazy, which was really surprising to me considering it's called their Aqua Resist Pencil. I thought for sure this would be one that wouldn't and it, it it does so like i said it's good i just i'll probably pass it on to a sister because it's brand new it's a good brand a good liner but for the way that i use liner it just didn't work okay and then another rediscovered favorite is the revolution renaissance flick i feel like i link this a lot because i'm always wearing it but i don't always mention it so i wanted to give it a little shout out in this favorites video because it's like nine dollars you can get it at Ulta. It's one of the best liquid liners. Why can I not get the cap off? There we go. One of the best liquid liners I've ever used. You can get a thin line, a thick line. It's super black. I feel like it doesn't run. Like it's just all around good. And it's got really pretty packaging. I just think this is so pretty. All right, let me dive in. I had some other favorites, but I don't have them in front of me. So I'm gonna pop up pictures. Okay, well some that are like literally right here. These earrings, okay. I know you're like, Jessica, those are the simplest hoops. Like why? So I've been on the hunt for some just really simple, basic, smaller-ish golden hoops that still kind of dangle. Like I have some that they're a little too structured where they'll get stuck like this. I can't explain it. But these are like still dangly and they like move, move when you do this. <laughs> But I love them so much. I got them on Amazon and they are a nicer brand. They even came packaged really, really nicely from this brand. The brand is Pavois. It's P-A-V-O-I. I've bought jewelry from this brand before and I really liked it. So I really like these. These are, I think I got the 20 millimeter. They have ones that are a little bit bigger, which now I'm like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they have like 30 millimeter, but I got the Vermeil yellow. I certainly did not pronounce that right. But the idea is that they won't tarnish because I, you know, it, this still, it, I think it was like $30. So I still think that's pricey for earrings, but if they're not gonna tarnish and they're gonna last a long time, then I'd rather spend that money so I can have these. And I like that they were basic. So really they're not necessarily gonna go out of style, you know? And in theory, they should last a lot longer than the ones I just get at like Target and stuff like that. So I was excited, I wanted to share it because they really are actually high quality. They've held up pretty well the past month or two and I've even like slept and showered in these and it was not an issue. So, so those are really good. I also have a tank top. I don't know, oh, it's dirty. I was like, why didn't I wear it? I have a tank top and a swimsuit. Stay with me because especially if you're someone that like your midsection and stuff, you're like a little leery of, I don't know. That I see, I hate to even say that, but you know what I mean. I wanted to share with you guys the swimsuit. So first off this tank top, I have the one in yellow. They have a bunch of different colors. There's something about the cut of this that is so comfy and flattering and you can just toss it on with jeans shorts and you feel like you're good for a backyard barbecue. Like I feel like a lot of the ones I have are like somewhat sheer so then I need something underneath it or they just I'm always like self-conscious in it in some way like the strap is too long or it's too tight or it's it cuts too low here or there. This one just seems to be really comfortable and flattering. It's low key. I feel like you can kind of dress it up but you can also just throw it on on a Saturday like I said for a barbecue and it's still dressed down. Like I really like it enough that I'm thinking about buying another color but I'm, I'm holding off because I'm trying to be better with <laughs> But I really, really like it. I like the design of the middle, how it kind of goes out. So that was a really good one. And then the swimsuit is still dirty too because I brought it with me on our trip and I need to do laundry really badly still. So this one is pink on pink. It's a light pink and a dark pink. And they have a bunch of different colors. They have like plain, oh my gosh, now I'm looking at more. They have a lot of different colors. This cut is so flattering and so comfortable. And so I've loved it. I like that it gives you like good support in your chest, but then there's that cute little cut out there, but then it still is covering most of your midsection. I felt like the back of it had nice coverage, like all around, it was a really cute suit that I felt really cute and comfortable in. And I loved that. And and then the bright pink I really liked because I felt like it really made my skin look a little bit more vibrant. So I wanted to mention it because I know swimsuits are so, so hard to land on. By the way, I got the size large. I've been sizing up a bit for swimsuits just because I don't like when it digs in. I'd rather it be, you know, so I got the size large of that and I absolutely love it. I would say typically I'd wear a medium. So if you want it to be a little more comfy, maybe size up to a 
the next size. But yeah, they have a lot of different colors. Some other favorites that I guess I should have mentioned earlier, this toothpaste. So <laughs> I have loved for a very long time the Stain Eraser toothpaste. I really think it makes a difference. And if you drink coffee like I do every single day, you know, it does stain your teeth after time. And I felt like by using that morning and night, it really helped curb any staining, reverse staining. And I, I really like that stuff. However, I was having issues with my tongue and it just burning a lot. And I was like, I wonder if it's the toothpaste because it is kind of a stronger toothpaste. So I was like, why don't I switch just for one round of a tube of toothpaste and see if it makes a difference. So I switched to something just super gentle. This is the Burt's Bees Extra White Fluoride Toothpaste in Mountain Mint. When I say that like five days into using this, my tongue did not burn anymore. That's huge. I feel like I've been dealing with that kind of issue for so long and this instantly cleared it up, if you will. So I'm, I have to assume it was the toothpaste I was using. So I don't know if I'll use this forever, but for right now I'm a convert to it just because I'm so happy to be able to use like mouthwash and not have my tongue feel like it's on fire. You know what I mean? So if you're having that kind of issue, maybe switch to something a little more gentler for a while, see if it makes a difference. So I do like this. I certainly don't feel like my breath feels as fresh than like when I would be using literally any other toothpaste, but it does feel clean. I don't feel like, I feel like my teeth are still looking nice and white. I am still using a whitening mouthwash because again, now that my tongue doesn't burn, I feel like I can use it. And I feel like that's helping with the whitening. So big fan of this so far. We'll see if I stick to it, but I'm about halfway through. I'm going to repurchase this again. Another favorite is this Capari Sun Shield Body Glow. This is a sunscreen y'all, SPF 50. So it's a good sunscreen but it goes on and makes your skin look so juicy, baby, because it's literally like a clear, but it's got, it doesn't have glitter or anything, but I do feel like it has like fine shimmer, but it's not super detectable, but it just, if you put this all over your arms and legs in the summer, I feel like it makes your skin look so Beyonce healthy. You know what I mean? It's pricey for a sunscreen, but if you're gonna be using it, you know, maybe not every single day, but using it for those times where you're going out and you want to look a little bit cuter like during the day, I really have liked this. I really like it on my legs. So wanted to bring it up because it's, it's, I mean, it's a favorite. I'm using it all of the time. It smells so good as well. Kind of coconutty, not really though, but it smells good. I can't really pinpoint what the smell is. Yeah, and it says never greasy, always glowy. And I would agree with that. It doesn't, once it's on, it doesn't feel greasy. It just looks like healthy. So I've been on a journey with like music apps. So when I was in college, I used Spotify. Like that is what I use. So all of my playlists from that time in my life and the first few years after college, all of my playlists were on Spotify. And I don't know, maybe four or five years ago, Tyler and I both together like switched to Apple Music. And so at that time, and I don't know if there is now, you guys can probably let me know, but at that time you couldn't like get your playlist and auto, you know, transport them over into Apple Music. And I was like, I don't feel like manually doing it. So we just kind of dove into Apple Music. I made new playlists, you know, things like that. So fast forward like five years and I was like, dang, like I really wanna, I wanna go back and listen to some of my old like playlists on Spotify. So I re-downloaded it and I've been listening to the playlist the past few weeks and loving it. So there's no favorite here other than it was really fun. Like if you've done, if you've had a similar trajectory to mine that, you know what I'm saying, where you went from Spotify to Apple Music and you still have playlists on your old Spotify, might be worth going back and listening to because it's just been so much fun. It's like a trip down memory lane. Even like my old running playlist, I'm like, dang, these were good. <laughs> so one of my favorite songs, I just got like lost looking at all my, one of my favorite songs always, but like this month I've listened to quite a bit is called Growing Up and it's by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis with Ed Sheeran. It's a good song. It's just a good song. Tyler loves that song too, so it's worth giving a listen. I don't know if it's like appropriate for kids or not. I'm kind of skimming through, but either way, it's it's such a good song, y'all. I love it, and it's such a good like vibe too, so definitely worth a listen. It's not like a new song by any means, but it's just one I've loved for a long time, and I don't think I've mentioned in video, it's so good. So the book I'm currently reading is, well, honestly, that one I don't wanna talk about yet because I'm literally 30% through, So and I'm still trying to figure out how it all connects. But anyway, I'll probably talk about that next month, but right now, now we are in the middle of finishing up Katie Couric's book, which is called Going There. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, like I just knew who Katie Couric was. Like I knew she was on the Today Show, you know, that's about it. I knew she like had a daytime talk show for like a year or two and you know, I didn't know much about her. But we dove into this book just thinking it's probably interesting. And uh, it was, <laughs> it is. We're listening to the audiobook as we like drive to and from work together and it is 
so interesting hearing about, first of all, like a lot of tragedy in her life that I had no idea about, but also just hearing about her career and like the inner workings of what her job is like in the news. It's so fascinating to me and it, it it reads really quickly. Like you're you're interested the whole time, which I love those kinds of books, duh. But if you are a fan of like The Morning Show, which is one of our favorite shows on Apple TV Plus or whatever it's called, you will love this book because it, it absolutely like aligns with what that show is about. Like not exactly, but like they knew what they were doing with The Morning Show. Like listening to this book, I'm like, wow, like that is the job. Like they explained it perfectly. So anyway, we are really liking it. We're probably about 85% of the way through it, so we'll finish it hopefully in the next day or two. But big fan if you are like into Katie Couric or just the news or any of that at all, I really think no matter what your stance on stuff is, it is a very interesting book. So I think that's everything. I'm sure I'll think like always like of four more things once I turn the camera off, but I love doing these. If you enjoyed it, if you wanna catch some of my past month's favorites and fails, I'll link my playlist right at the top of the description box. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.